Peace, my friends. What is happening? It is, of course, your friend Ben back with another yoga practice. Today, we're going to be moving a little bit slower, but we're going to keep it strong throughout. So this just gives us space to breathe a little bit in the poses. Uh, for me personally, my body is feeling very tight right now, which is why I'm not really wanting to rush through the poses. I'm wanting to give some breaths in the poses to open up some space, but really often holding poses for a little bit longer is also what creates strength and fortitude, both in the body, in the muscles, joints, and in the mind as well. So let's go ahead and let that be kind of the theme for today's practice. And we'll go ahead and get started in a downward facing dog. Of course, downward facing dog is a pretty active posture right away, but we have time. We have time, so breathe. Be a little bit animalistic, shift the weight around, and really feel the hips becoming the mountain peak of your down dog. So we're not just in like a plank position, we're really bringing the hips up to the sky. I like to imagine myself tilting the tailbone up toward the sky, maybe even bending the knees to help me find more lift in the hips. And just kind of shift the weight around to explore. Yoga is a practice of awareness. And so the more awareness we build, the more we come into our true self, the more awareness we have the more we're able to move through the world in a way that is truly aligned with our spirit. All right, so from down dog, right leg lifts to the sky for three limb down dog. Bend the knee to open the hip just for a moment there. And then curl it back through center and step the right foot outside of the right hand. As the right foot moves outside of the right hand, twist the right hand up to the sky. Look up to the right hand as you inhale. Bring the right hand down to the ground as you exhale. Inhale, right hand to the sky, inhale. Exhale, right hand to the ground, exhale. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Exhale, right hand to the ground. Last one, inhale, right hand to the sky. This time, pause. Step the right foot back, side plank. Push the ground away with your left hand. If you want, you can even lift the right foot up into the sky. Take one breath in, one breath out. Come through center to plank pose. As you come to your plank pose, press through all of your fingertips, drive the ground away, bring mindfulness into your core, then find chaturanga. And then from chaturanga, rise up to plank. And from plank, lift the hips to down dog. All right, so still a powerful practice as you can already feel. But we're going nice and slow. Left leg to the sky, three limbed down dog. Bend the knee just to open the hip for a quick moment. And then come on back through center to step the left foot all the way outside of left hand. Let's use our inhale to reach the left hand up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, left hand down. We're just waking up the spine. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, left hand down. This time, inhale it up. Pause, and then step to side plank. Left foot back, and your choice if you want to keep the left foot floating and explore that. We're not here for too much longer. <laughs> Take one more breath in. Come through center on the breath out. Take a chaturanga, bending the elbows. You can always drop your knees. Come back up to plank, and then lift the hips to down dog. From down dog, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step right foot outside of right hand. Inhale the right hand to the sky. Side plank on your exit. Inhale and side plank. Exhale the right hand to the earth. Inhale in full plank. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for sneezing. <laughs> Disrupted the flow. All right, take a chaturanga. This time, upward facing dog. And then up dog takes us back to down dog. From down dog, left leg to the sky. Exhale, step left foot outside of left hands. 
Inhale, the left hand reaches to the sky. Exhale, step the left foot back for side plank. We're here for one breath in. Exhale, lower the left hand for plank. Then we're in plank for a breath in. And we'll take chaturanga exit. Inhale to upward, facing dog. Exhale to downward, facing dog. All right, let's find a little rhythm and then we'll slow it down after that. So inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot, outside of right hand. Inhale, right hand to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot back for side plank. Let's inhale here. Exhale, regular plank, both hands down. Inhale and plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward, facing dog. Exhale, downward, facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot, outside of your hand. Inhale, twist the left arm up. Exhale, step back for side plank. Inhale here. Exhale, plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Two more rounds. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step outside of your hand. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, right foot steps back. Inhale, inside plank. Exhale for full plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale for chaturanga. Inhale for up dog. Exhale for down dog. I know the arms are probably getting tired. Just stick with me and we'll get our break. Don't worry. So inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step left foot outside of hand. Inhale, twist left hand up. Exhale, step back, side plank. Inhale here. Exhale for full plank, both hands down. Inhale, full plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward, facing dog. And then exhale, cruises us back to down dog. Last round, inhale, right leg. Exhale, step the foot outside the hand. Inhale, right hand twists. Exhale, step back for plank. Inhale here in plank. Exhale, both hands down. <laughs> Inhale, regular plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. I really feel this in my arms now. <laughs> Exhale, down dog. But that was the point to create some heat. Last side, inhale, left leg. Exhale, step outside of your hand. Inhale, left arm twists. Exhale, step back to side plank. Inhale here. Exhale, both hands down plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward, facing dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, let's go ahead and slow it down. So right leg up, three-legged dog, step through for low crescent lunge. So as the right foot steps through, left knee drops down. Rise into your lunge, Anjane Asana or low crescent lunge. Okay, we're here. We're here. What I've been enjoying lately is bringing the arms overhead and grabbing opposite elbows. Take a few breaths. Slow it down. Feel the energy in your legs, right? There's still effort here, but it's a really steady effort. It's not the kind of effort where we're exerting 100%. We're just consistently exerting like a good 50% effort, which sh should feel good. It's just enough effort to be present, but also just enough ease to enjoy it. Now let's bring the hands down, find a pyramid. So straighten the legs, pull the hips back, adjust your stance as needed. If you have yoga blocks, this is a good position for yoga blocks. You can reach the arms forward, but lately I've found it interesting to kind of reach the arms back and with the fingertips on the ground. And you can always, as you'll see, I do have a micro bend in my right knee. That's what I often do in this pose. Just, I kind of feel like it keeps me a little more honest to keep a micro bend rather than locking out the knee, but that's, that's just me. All right, take a couple more breaths. Warrior three, shift forward. Come into your balance. Come into your balance and then just be there. Resist the urge to leave. You can always use fingertips on the ground or a couple fingertips to a couple yoga blocks. Step back to high crescent lunge, left toes all the way back of the mat. 
arms up and then straighten the right leg and just feel the balance. So with both legs straight, it becomes a little bit of a balance, especially when we're high onto the back toes. And if you're not feeling challenged enough, just bring your feet further apart and that will certainly do the trick. I'm gonna try to slide my left foot further back to create more of a challenge for myself. Now I'm definitely feeling it. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step back to plank. From plank, take zero to five push-ups. And go slow. I'm gonna do the full five push-ups, but I'm not going fast, and I'm making a conscious effort to not go fast. Because rushing through something like a push-up or a chaturanga, and then feel free to take up dog if and when you're ready. Right? When we rush through that, we kind of eliminate all the benefits because when we rush, we're not using our stabilizing muscles. All right, we get to down dog and then we'll reach the left leg to the sky. We'll step the left foot all the way through for our Anjane Asana low crescent. Do what you want with the arms, but try to sit up into the lunge. Whatever you're doing, try to sit up into the lunge, meaning spine is long and you could even think of creating a little back bend. So if you're looking at the screen, you can see my spine is, is in a state of extension as my hips move forward and down and my collarbones kind of lean back in space. What this does is it provides a nice antidote to sitting down, right? When we're sitting down, our hips are closed, their inflection, our spine is rounded, it's inflection, everything is just curling in and closing off. And so this Anjane Asana lunge is a remedy for that energy. All right, feel free to bring the hands down. We're headed to pyramid. Straighten the legs. Find your nice stretch. Use the arms to accessorize. Shorten the stance if you want. I'm doing this with the right heel remaining lifted off the mat. I'm high onto my right toes on the back of the on the on the back side of the posture. But you can always ground the heel down if you choose to. As I always preach, there's so many ways to do all these different postures, and especially when we're holding them for a little bit longer, it gives you the opportunity to explore those potential realities. Glide forward, warrior three. Give yourself time to pursue balance. And then with your right foot behind you, make a choice. Point the toes or flex the toes but try not to be lazy in your foot. Some people will say, you need to point the toes. Some people will say, you need to flex the toes down toward the earth, right? But the reality is, that just depends on your intention because those actions activate different muscles. I believe that all that really matters is that there's awareness. All right, step back, high crescent, and then feel free to explore the straightening of both of your legs. Allow that to create a new sensation, a much different pose than just our normal standing lunge when we straighten both legs. I actually like to call this like a standing splits. And I know standing splits is a different pose in itself, but I, I really do think of this as a standing splits because that's quite literally what we're doing. Very good balancing posture. Let's take an inhale. Exhale, hands to the earth. When you get there, take between zero and five. Chaturanga push-ups. Embrace the journey. Embrace the challenge. And then eventually, upward facing dog. And that up dog can take us back to down dog. From down dog, right leg up, three limb dog. Step the right foot through to your low crescent lunge position. Take a few breaths, and this is round two. So we can really appreciate the poses. I'm sure, I don't know about you, but for me, this second round, there's so much more space than the first round. It's like night and day. So now, whereas the first round was just kind of feeling my body begin to open, the second round is like, oh, okay, there's actually space to explore. Much more comfortable.
hands down for pyramid. Adjust your stance as needed and then find the stretch. Stay aware in your legs. And you could always flex the toes back toward your face, the front toes, but I like keeping the toes grounded because it's kind of a nice stretch for the tops of my feet. Begin to glide forward into warrior three when you're ready. From warrior three, step back to your high crescent, arms up, straighten the legs. Give yourself a couple moments here. Hands down. I like to create a little back bend in the standing splits too. Step back to plank, zero to five, yoga push-ups. Creating a back bend feels natural in that standing splits for me because the energy is lifting away from the ground. And just by leaning back by like an inch, it really accentuates that energy. Feel free to move from there into upward facing dog. And then of course, to down dog. Left leg to the sky. Left foot steps through. Take your low crescent lunge as the right knee gently lands on the mat and you press the top of the right foot down and then create new possibilities, new space through your breath. Hopefully it feels nice to slow down and hopefully you can <clears throat> give yourself permission to slow down as well. Sometimes when we, we feel like we slow down, we're not being productive, we're not, we're not doing enough, but <laughs> in my opinion, that could not be further from the truth. I think it's valuable, valuable, valuable to slow down. Bring our hands down, pyramid pose, pull the hips back in space to create your stretch. Move into warrior three when you're ready for it. Pursue balance, and of course, let it be an exploration. Let it be something that's fleeting, and that we're always trying to come back to is this sensation of being in balance mentally, physically. Step back to your high crescent, and then feel free to straighten both legs. Feel free to lean back a little bit. We're gonna have one more round through this flow after this, so you'll have one more chance to kind of explore. This is kind of the peak pose of the flow. It's this big standing splits, lifting away from the ground through every little crevice in our bodies. And then bring the hands down to the ground, step back to plank pose. And then from plank pose, the journey is yours. You can take a few push-ups if you want, chaturanga, up dog. You could hold plank, you could take a drink of water, right? But we'll meet back in down dog in just a second. From down dog, last round. Right leg up, right foot steps all the way through. Drop your left knee down and then reach both arms up. Last time here, I'm gonna go for Kali Mudra. This is interlacing all the fingers except thumb and first finger and then using that bind in the fingertips to lift further up. And it's more of an energetic lift. I might not literally lift higher, but my energy is now moving upward instead of downward or instead of neutral. Good, feel free to bring the hands down. Pyramid pose, pull the hips back in space, create sensation. Warrior three, crawl your way forward into your balance. Whew. 
Step back, high crescent lunge. Left foot lands as far back as you can step. Last opportunity for this fun version of standing splits, or at least hopefully it's a tiny bit fun for you. And then expand. Get out of your own way. Take a couple breaths. And bring the hands down. Step back to plank. It's your journey back to down dog. If you want to add in some extra push-ups, you do what you want to do. Live your truth. Live your truth because you are the master of your own reality. And then take it to up dog if you wish to do so. And then down dog is our meeting spot for our last side. So left leg up, left leg steps through. Take your low lunge and then maybe you add in the Kali Mudra with the fingertips. Again, that's interlacing all fingers except thumb and first finger. Then use that to find more space across the front body. And of course, through the shoulders. Bring the hands down when you're ready. Take pyramid, pull the hips back in space. Then breathe into this for the last time today. Begin to inch forward into warrior three. Balance. Stay strong through the lifted leg. One or two more breaths. Step back for high crescent into your straight leg version if you want it. You could even find Kali Mudra again with the fingertips. Slowly bring the hands down. Your last opportunity for a vinyasa or a vinyasa-like movement here. Any of these poses like chaturanga, upward facing dog. Feel free to take them and we'll land back in down dog in a moment. And then as we get back to down dog, take two breaths here. From down dog, roll into plank. From plank, come onto the belly. Let's move through a bit of an expansion series. Oscillating cobra. For oscillating cobra, bring fingertips outside of the edges of the mat. Bring a little bit of space between your feet behind you. And let's wave with our breath. So inhale, wave the spine up as far up as you want to go. Exhale, wave it back down. We're on our fingertips so that we use our back muscles too. Inhale, wave up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Three more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, right into locust pose, arms back, float the chest, float the legs, optional bind of the fingertips behind the low back, stay with me, if you need a break, you can always take a break, otherwise we're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two. Listen carefully, right into bow pose on one. If you need a little break first, just take two breaths and then go into bow pose. Otherwise, just go for it. We're here for 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six. Try to keep breathing for five, four, three, two, on one, release, and then head right into child's pose. Lift the hips up and then ground your spirit down. Rest your forehead on the mat. Relax the shoulders. This pose is like we're bowing to the earth. Bowing to Mama Earth and all of her energy that she provides to us. Stay in child's pose for a few more breaths. My friends, this is where I will leave you today. This is where I will leave you because this was a full practice and ending with the bow pose is very expansive and can give you energy to move forward through whatever comes next in your day, as well as ending in the child's pose is a nice way to ground your spirit before you head on into whatever comes next for you. Right? Feel free to do another practice with me. Feel free to take a Shavasana or maybe you just uh, are going on with your day. And if you do so, please move forward with compassion both toward yourself and hopefully toward the beings around you as well. So I hope to see you soon on or off the mat. It's always a pleasure and a blessing to practice with you and to share space. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being you. The world wouldn't be the same without you. And until we see each other again, peace.